Morning. Today is December 27th, and yes, I said Vlogmas was over, and actually it is over, but I did forget one important thing. I forgot to let you know who's going to receive this luscious skein of Chelsea yarns. Um, it, if you stopped in to say hi, during the last couple of days of Vlogmas. Um, I put your name in a hat, so to speak, and I selected someone to receive this. And I wanted to let you know, but you're gonna have to wait a bit for that. Because I figured since I'm here, I might as well do a little podcast. So this morning I'm drinking tea out of my Knit Happy Cup and it is honey bush mandarin and orange by twinings and it's really very good in case you don't know my name is linda you can find me all over as linda grace and this is joey's scarf podcast and talk about knitting and crocheting and yarn stuff and i just wrapped up a 24 day of daily vlogging which was interesting so i am going to announce this i'm going to show you a couple of favorite items that ross and i received for christmas i have put christmas away it was i got up yesterday at about six o'clock and boxed everything up put it away um, it's it's a big chore actually because I have a an artificial tree which comes in a box like this heavy once you put all the the tree back in the box and I have two big boxes of decorations which have to, which where I store them in our garage on a shelf on a high shelf so I had to climb up the ladder and <laughs> haul these things up there um, yeah, so I did that yesterday. My back was killing me by the end, but I was determined to get it done, and I did. And I'm going to show you um, some. Actually, I'm working on one thing. I went back to working on one thing, and I'll show you that. So um, stick around, and on with the uh, show. Hi. So as promised, I'm going to tell you who's going to receive this lovely skein of Chelsea yarns and the person is soy latte I think that's how you say it that's her her uh, screen name I guess you would call it um, K um, so K if you're watching and I hope you are um, if you can message me on Instagram private message me on Instagram uh, tell me your mailing address and I will send this out to you and I know that you're in in Australia right um, so yeah let me know your address and I will be happy to send this to you I also uh, wanted to show you a couple of Christmas gifts that that Ro Ross and I received which were special 
Um, one of them is this necklace. It's three hearts to represent three generations of um, mother, it's uh, grandma, mother, and daughter. So it would represent me, my daughter, and my granddaughter. I have one granddaughter and five grandsons. And this, I thought this was beautiful. I really like it a lot. Um, another gift uh, that Ross received from all of the kids and grandkids was a keyboard. Now, Ross used to play piano when he was younger. Um, I think he took lessons when he was a kid. I don't know how interested he was in it, but he loves music. That's one thing. He loves music, all kinds of music. And I thought it would be nice to, uh, I suggested to the kids, a keyboard. Um, and hope that he would get interested in, in playing and um, maybe refreshing his skills. So I have a little video of, of him that I uh, took at, at right after he opened, at, after he we took the, bo the keyboard out and assembled it put it together and he sat down and uh, started to play along play on the keyboard so there's a little video here of that there you go <laughs> That was, it was a fun, it was fun to see him get really into the music, wasn't it? The next uh, favorite gift of mine was a, um, a metal bird, a handcrafted, um, and their, their website is Metal Birds. Uh, I think they're, they're in different countries. I ordered from Metal Birds USA. And it's, um, I'll show you pictures of it, but it's a cutout of a bird and you um, tap it into a tree and it's just a silhouette and it really, I, there's just something about it that really spoke to me, I guess, because I like to watch the birds and, um, and this was such beautiful, beautiful work. Um, if you go to their website, you can read about how this person got started and uh, and he, he makes all different kinds. I don't know now if it's the same artist or if it, they have different artists doing it now, but they, they will craft all different kinds of birds. And I chose the Cardinal because that is my favorite. And <clears throat> yeah, so that, those were a couple of uh, favorite gifts that, that Ross and I received for Christmas. The other thing I did today was I, I sorted out my knit drawer where I keep all of my hats and gloves and scarves and things like that and also went through my yarn closet and I gathered a bunch of stuff together to bring to our um, secondhand shop which uh, is uh, funds our local hospital it's a charitable organization um, I'll show you what I donated. Yeah, so that that's what I donated. I donated a bunch of hats. I had this one hat, a tan hat with a, a fur, black fur pom-pom in the pile, and then I took it out and I said, nah, I'm keeping this one. And then I donated a bunch of cotton yarn, dishcloth yarn. I have so, so much of it, and there's I'm never gonna use it, so I, I donated that. And then some, just some acrylic yarn and the hat. I think I said the hats. So when we walked in with these bags full of stuff, um, the person greeted me at the door. Oh, are these donations? She took them from me and said, oh, yarn, yay. And I thought, oh, good. <laughs> Somebody that's going to appreciate this. And then 
and we were, we started to walk around to you know just to browse and i heard the squealing going on as these women were looking through the yarn and then the hats and each one they pulled out they were like oh my god how beautiful how beautiful and it made me feel so good i just kind of stood back and 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 it, watched as their joy and excitement out of seeing um, the the hats and it made me feel good that they appreciate the handmade hats and they were they were pretty nice hats so now I have an empty draw um, full an empty place to make give me an excuse to make more hats because I like making hats um, and the last thing I'm going to share with you today is um, what I'm working on. If you care to, um, Joey's Scarf Podcast has a group on Ravelry called Joey's Scarf Podcast. And right now we are in the middle of a, <clears throat> a knit along or make along. You can either crochet or knit cardigan sweater. And my friend Jan is um, hosting this with me. Um, she's Jan's Crafty Crochet, and um, I think I think I'm going to extend the end date for this for personal reasons because I've been a little uh, I don't want to say lax because I started a sweater twice and took it out twice. So I'm going to give myself a little extra time. So I think it'll it'll run now till the end of uh, January. So in one of my vlogmas, I, I actually sat there and took the sweater out that I was making. And I'm making the throwback by um, Andrea Mowry. And it is a color work sweater. And I didn't like the way the color work was coming out. I was just, my tension was horrible and it, it just didn't look very nice. Also, I wasn't happy with the colors I chose. So I, I took the whole thing out, I frogged it. And with all of the uh, vlogmases and all the busy holiday stuff, um, I've been knitting hats and doing all of that. I just um, just never got back to it. But after after the commotion calmed down, the day after actually Christmas Day, we had no plans because we had our our Christmas on Christmas Eve. I decided to start again, and this is how far I've gotten. Well, that's not very nice to show you the inside. But I've, I've chose different colors. Yeah. And I kept the same green. But I chose to do a tan, a red, and a purple instead. Now, this section here is supposed to be color work and it's supposed to be like a, a flame design. I That's where I was having the problem. So I decided to do a stripe instead. This is color, I did this color work up here because it's easy. It's just, you know, carrying one um, strand across. And I knew it, even if I tried again that I wasn't gonna be successful. And I, I just want to, uh, I want this to, I want the sweater to be um, good and not have to rip it out again. So instead of doing color work here, I'm, I'm, I just did striping instead. And then the next uh, three rows will be this color work. It'll, it'll be down here. And then I think I'm going to be good to go. But I think these colors are really pretty. It's it's subtle. I like actually like the striping better than the color work. So I think it'll it'll work out good. The green I'm using is Gems Worsted. And this is fern green. The red and purple are this brand of yarn. This is uh, New Zealand Merino, 25% nylon, 
5% Angora, 10% Alpaca, 5% Silk. And it's really nice. I've made hats out of this and it's really beautiful. So that's these two. And then the tan, I think this is just Cascade 220 that I had left over. So these are the three colors with the green. And I think they really, oops. I think they really, are, they're really, I, I just am liking the way this is coming out. Which is good because if, if I like the color and I like the way it's coming out, it'll, it'll make me want to work on it and keep working on it. I'm not working on anything else, so this is the only thing I've got, I've got uh, to work on. And I'm trying not to cast on anything else. I've been seeing so many different patterns that I want to do. Uh, so if you would like, you can still have time. Um, there's a whole month left to join in to Joey's Scarf, the uh, cardigan sweater. I think it's called Linda and Jan's Cardigan Sweater Mal Make Along. So I think that's it for today. Okay, don't forget to get in touch with me and I'll probably, I'm not sure when I'll podcast again, whenever the mood strikes me. So that's it for now and I'll talk to you later. Bye now.